there. Looked up like, oh my God, someone's watching. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, I've been doing a little sanding on here. It's not, it's not doing all that great. I was hoping I could just sand the paint off this thing, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out that way. So I'm just going to hit the high parts and try to get it all smoothed out. I've got this front part here sanded down. It's not too bad. That black's not wanting to come off very good. And there are some pits in here. But I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to sand that all the way smooth or not. I think I'm just going to try to just get it as level as I can. Like I said in the last video, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to get a professional job out of it. One thing that does suck on this is here, see that right there? See that pinstripe on there? They painted over it. See? You can see right there how they painted over that mess. They didn't even take it off. So now that I'm sanding, lo and behold, I'm having to sand all that off. It's coming off pretty good. It's not too bad at all. I'm just sanding it and getting that, and I'm just making that smooth right there best I can. What's really weird, if you look right here, there's some lettering on there. I'm assuming that was probably a sticker for a country club or something. Couldn't quite make it out as I was sanding it, but that right there, you can't even feel that. I guess that's just the sun or something that faded it into the... I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be fiberglass. I do have some damage right here on the side, it looks like. Doesn't go all the way through. I'm going to try to get that smoothed out. There's some more of that red pinstriping I'm going to have to deal with. And I'm going to have some holes here on where the fender flares went on for the fenders. I'm not going to put them back on. This one here was just siliconed on. It wasn't even bolted on like the other side. But today, my mission is this crack right here. I don't know. Bondo, either bondoed up or something. And that scratch right there, that's a little bit of a gash there. I'm going to get my angle grinder out and I'm going to just try to gouge this out a little bit so the Bondo has something to hook on to. I got my angle grinder here and I'm going to be using one of these flap disc things. Let's get down here and get sanded on this crack. Okay, what I've done is I've just kind of dished out each side right here. Just kind of make a value so I can just put a skim of that Bondo over there. Try to push it in and get it to hold that crack. I don't think it'll crack afterwards once it's done. I think it'll hold on there pretty good, or at least I hope it does. Now let's do the other side over there. Okay, I'm back over here. I'm just going to... Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna say this is fiberglass. I couldn't really tell earlier what it was. But from doing this right here, I'm gonna say that is fiberglass. You know, I got thinking about this. I tend to overthink a lot of things, but that's just me. I'm thinking maybe if I put some kind of a crazy glue in here and try to get this kind of to hold it up and then take some of this JB Weld water weld right here and just mix it up and stick it up underneath this ledge right here. Might kind of help give that some support so it doesn't crack. That'd just be one less thing I'd have to worry about on there. So let me take this. Man, I already got that stuff on my fingers. I'm glad I saw that. Glue my hand to this thing, that would suck. But I'll get this, put, put this crazy glue in there. Kind of open up that crack here a little bit. 
And then kind of bring it up here and hold it into place for a little bit and push it down in that crack. Get that all lined up. I don't know how long this stuff takes to dry. So have to hold it together for 10 to 45 seconds. We'll just have to see. I'll hold it here. I guess I could count down. 45, 44. Wait a minute. I've already had it probably 15 seconds. Let's start at 30. 30, 29, 28, 3, 2, 1. Is it going to hold? Hey, it's going to hold. Let's try this stuff out here and we'll shove it up underneath there. Kind of give it a backing of some sort. Okay, it says to knead this until it's into a uniform color. It looks like it's white and gray in there. Mixed in there really, really, really good. Now I'll just take this. And I'll just push it up in there really, really good. Okay, that looks like it's going to be about the best I can get. So we'll let that dry up and then come back and maybe throw some Bondo on there. Okay, I sand a little more on the outside of this edge here just a little bit. Everything that's set up under there pretty good. It's, it's hard. I can't get a fingernail in it. It's pretty tough. Nothing's moving. So I went ahead and got some Bondo here. This has a golf ball size to an inch and a quarter strip of the hardener. Well, when I took that out of the can, it's about the size of a golf ball. But I guess I'll get in here and I'll get this all mixed up really good. Supposed to be a uniform color. I do love the smell of Bondo when you're mixing it and sanding it. Probably not good for you, but you know, hey, to each his own. Get that on there. Okay, now let's try spreading this on here. Let's see what this is going to look like. And yes, I know that they make a it's called Bondo Glass. And I looked, you know, I researched online. I got on the old Google machine and looked it up. And pretty much the Bondo Glass is waterproof compared to Bondo. And I'm like, well, I don't really ever leave this out in the rain. I don't wash it all that much, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, we'll let that go right there. Best that I can get this scrape over here get that pushed into there and now time to go mix up another batch okay back over here on the other side get all this mixed up into a uniform color that's what it says but that's better i can Hopefully sand that out a little smoother. And I am going to use a filling primer on this. Get that little guy there. Hey, there's a guy there I can fill in. Yeah. And we'll let all this dry up and We'll get back to sanding down on this cart. Well, looks like it's dried up good enough. Wish I could have fixed this down there, but it just, this is gonna probably just be too much of a problem to fix that. I might try it a little bit later, I don't know. Got that done, and we got this side here done. So I'm going to get on that and sand it. But first, I'm going to spray some more of this on there. Just see how it works. So just to shake it real good. And I'll just spray it on 
there. As you can see, it's already bubbling up. So let's just let that work its magic while I get sanding on the Bondo. Well, I really can't complain about that. It does look pretty good. It's got most of the crack in there except that outer edge. Whoa, too much light. That there is pretty smooth. And this is smooth, and then out pops a screw. I might have to look on the inside of that and just see. Might be able to fix that. I don't know. But there's a screw through the side. I don't know about that. And here's the other side. It come out pretty good too. Smooth. Still some imperfections right in there. I don't know if that'll come up on the camera or not. And a few little divots right there. But I do have some glazing spot putty that I can put in there. So I'll put that on here in just a little bit and we'll see how that works out. But let's go check out where I sprayed that remover. Okay, we're back at this over here. Let's just have a look-see here and see what it does. Wow! Not bad. That stuff works pretty doggone good. What do you think? I didn't get much on that down there. See that screw right there? There's another one somewhere behind all that right there. Oh, man. Why would you put screws in? There's nothing inside there to hold the body in. Or is there? Yes. I took the battery out. I might have to put another kind of a battery tray in there or something. And right there, you can see where that screw comes out. And there's one over here too. So now I'm about to get that board out of there and then figure out what I'm gonna do. What a mess. Had my shop all nice and clean. Then I had to start on that golf cart. But the good news is it's pretty much sanded down. Got a little overzealous here on the front end, but hey, it'll work. But pretty much got it down to where it's smooth. I'm going to have to get some water and get this thing all wiped down. Get all the dust off of it. I blew it off best I could. There are some bad places still on here. I don't know if you can see that there. There's some scratches in there. But this, this here is going to be covered up by those black pads and stuff over there. So I'm not too concerned with that. But pretty much got most of the paint off of it. And for the battery, I don't know if you can really tell in here, but I did replace the wood on the wall there. And then I wedged the bottom board in for the battery to wedge up against this outside wall here. So when I did that, I was able to fix that crack and everything that was down there. I mean, it's not perfect, but hey, it looks a lot better than it did. So now all we need to do is just get this thing taped up. And get ready to, I'm just going to throw just a light coat of primer on it. Just so I can see if there's anything bad that really stands out really bad. And if so, I'll run some of that spot putty over it. Smooth it all out. But overall, I'm pretty doggone happy with this. My wife helped me do a lot of the sanding today. She did a lot of the, well, that spray can down there. She did a lot of that and scraping this green yuck, puke green paint off. 
Well, thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to cut this off right here. I didn't do any of the filming or anything or recording or whatever of the sanding on this. That would just be boring and monotonous. And I thought I'd just spare, spare you guys all that. Well, I'm going to cut this off. I guess next up will be primering and painting this thing. Thanks for watching. If you like, hit that subscribe button down there. Smash that bell to get notifications. And we'll see you next time. See ya!